All right, whoa, big difference, big difference, big difference, big difference. Oh, before vacationing restarts, we're gonna look at three different hotel stocks and compare them to each other to see which one might be the best buy to add to our dividend portfolio. While all of these stocks are on sale due to the pandemic, we're gonna see if we could pick up some at a very cheap price. I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This episode is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $100, and get two free shares valued up to $1,400. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into the video. Welcome back, dreamers. The three companies that we're gonna be comparing is Tickle Symbol H, the Hyatt, Tickle symbol M-A-R, the Marriott, and tickle symbol H-L-T, Hilton. Now, while all of these companies have their price dropped by a significant amount due to the pandemic, I thought that would be a good idea to compare these three dividend companies to see how they perform over the last 10 years to see which one would be a great add to our dividend portfolio. Now, before we compare their dividends, I just wanna let you guys know that all three of these companies, in fact, most hotel companies, did cut their dividends in half or completely in all. But these three just cut their dividends recently due to the pandemic. So hopefully we'll be getting in at a good price. And then over time, when vacation they pick back up, they can increase their dividend payments over the next couple of years. The first one that we're gonna look at is the Hyatt Tickle Symbol H. At the recording of this video, it is at $59.99. The dividend growth rate is zero. Like I said, they just cut their dividends, but they pay out quarterly. That means four times a year, you receive a dividend payment from the Hyatt. They have a dividend yield of 0.97% and they pay out 20 cents per share every quarter. So I mean, every quarter that they pay out their dividends, you will receive 20 cents. So that'll be two, four, six, eight, 80 cents for every share that you hold of a Hyatt over the course of a year. The next one that we're gonna be looking at is tickle symbol MAR, the Marriott. At the recording of this video, their stock price is at $104.82. Once again, they cut their dividends, so it's at zero, and they have a quarterly pan dividend stock as well, that means four times a year. They have a dividend yield of 1.37% and pay out 48 cents per share four times a year, every single quarter. And the last one we're gonna be looking at is the Hilton, tickle symbol HLT. The price of the Hilton at the recording of this video is $90.94. They also cut their dividends, so they have a zero dividend growth rate, but they also pay out quarterly four times a year. They have a dividend yield of 0.49%, and they pay out 15 cents per share every single quarter. Now, it's not much to say about the three different hotel companies. You guys know these hotels, you see them in every major city. They're just hotels with different name brands. But let's look at a couple of their statistics right quick. Okay, so the Marriott, the Marriott International, ticker symbol MAR. In the first quarter, Marriott reported an earnings of 26 cents per share, down from $1.41 a share last year. So of course it was gonna drop down because of the pandemic. So they're predicting that business in China will recover first, recover faster. And then in America, it was climbed slowly but steady in North America, next in Europe, where Marriott shut down three quarters of his hotel, the business reopened should help its revenue. The next one is the Hilton. They reported uh, 74 cents per share and their revenue fell 12% year over year to $41.92 billion. Hilton brought back 2.6 million shares at an average price of $107.26. Unfortunately, it suspended the buyback and its dividend payments on March 22nd. So all the hotels across the world were doing pretty bad. So that's why I'm saying it might be a good time to get in now before uh, the world opens back up and everybody is able to travel and vacation again. We'll be getting in at a good price while it's undervalued. And the last one is the Hyatt Hotels, tickle symbol H. And the Hyatt reported that the rev par falling by 28.1% year over year in the first quarter. This fell by 24.5% for US hotels. So yeah, it's not looking good for the hotel industry. It's kind of like the cruise industry. But like I said, if we get in now at a great price, 
this might be a great add to our dividend portfolio. So let's go back and track which company has performed the best when the world was open so that when it reopens, we know which company will continue to perform great when the world reopens and everybody's able to vacation again. So let's go back and track their last 10 years to, to see which company operates the best when the world is open. All right, so here we are on the portfolio visualizer. We're going to track the last decade 2010 to 2020 we're going to say what if we invested ten thousand dollars back in 2010 how did these companies perform when the world was open and there was really no problem going on as big as this pandemic so we're going to invest ten thousand dollars back in 2010 rebalance annually display income reinvest our dividends yes benchmark no nah, let's not do that uh here we go the first one is tickle symbol h the next one is the Marriott, M-A-R. And then the last one is Hilton, H-L-T. There we go. Um, we're gonna allocate 100% of portfolio number one to the Hyatt, portfolio number two to the Marriott, and portfolio number three to the Hilton. Let's change the names of this portfolio. Hyatt, Marriott, and portfolio number three, the Hilton. There we go. So when I click this button, this is us investing $10,000 into each of these companies back in 2010, let it grow over a decade to 2020 to see which company was performing the best and most stable throughout the last decade pre-pandemic to see how they might perform in the future when the world opens back up. So let's go ahead and click this button. All right, here we are. Let's scroll down and woo, it is a close one. Okay, so the... Uh, so the higher, if you invest $10,000 back in 2010, you'll now have $11,000. So um, you'll made $1,000, not too much growth. The Marriott, you'll have $22,000 and the Hilton, you'll have $20,000. So it's pretty close in between the Marriott and the Hilton. Let's look at the chart right quick. So we're looking at the chart. The Marriott just outperformed all three of the companies for the most part. Pre-pandemic, it was up to a profit of $30,000 for the Marriott, $18,000 for the Hyatt, and $25,000 for the Hilton. So between the Marriott and the Hilton, the Marriott is looking like the better option overall, even though they did take the major hit, but none, none of the hotels could really avoid that, but they are starting to recover a little bit. The only way that they're gonna recover is if the world opened back up. So you guys wear your mask, wear your mask, okay? Just wear your mask. But pre-pandemic, it looks like the Marriott was outperforming both the Hilton and the Hyatt all the way since 2014. So it's not going to track the lad. It's not. It didn't go all the way back to 2010. One of these companies uh, went public and started in 2013. So that's it went back all the way to 2013 to 2020. But as far as I could tell, the Marriott has been outperforming the other two ever since the beginning. Now if we scroll down to try to look at our dividend income. Once again, the Marriott, wow, back in 2019, they had a great dividend of $402 you received that year just from dividends alone. So they outperformed the Hyatt and the Hilton, and they also paid out the most dividends. So the Marriott's looking like a pretty good company to add into our stock portfolio when the world opened back up. But let's go back in and see what happens if we would have bought the dip. Instead of investing a big lump sum in 2010, let's say that we invested just $1,000 back in 2010. We're gonna buy the dip by investing every single month. So we're gonna invest $200 a week or $800 a month into the stock market every single month. So this is my investing strategy. I invest $200 a week into the stock market every single week on my Robinhood account. So that's $800 a month. So this is pretty much what I do. So this is gonna show me what would have happened if I invest into these companies since 2013 to 2020, what would have had happened. So here we go, hit analyze portfolio. All right, whoa, big difference. Big difference, big difference, big difference. Oh, okay. So the Hyatt, you will have $65,000 if you invest uh, $800 every month into the stock market. The Marriott, you'll have $84,000 if you invest $200 every single week into the stock market. But the Hilton, the Hilton, hey, the Hilton, you will have a six-figure account. 
since 2013, you'll have a six figure account, $103,000. Wow, the difference it makes when you consistently invest into the stock market. Look at the difference it make when you consistently invest into the stock market other than just one lump sum and set it and forget about it by continually to invest when the price is up and when the price is down. If you're looking at the charts, it shows you that you'll have a $103,000 account. Insane. So when the world opened back up and the Hilton is out there showing signs of recovery, that might be a great buying opportunity to add them to our dividend stock portfolio. Wow. All right, so let's take a look at the worst years. The worst year the Hilton had was down 36%, the Marriott down 31%, and the Hilton only had a drawdown of 18%, not bad. The best year the Hyatt had was 34%, Marriott they had a, a growth of 66%, and the Hilton had a growth of 55%. So. All right, dreamers. So I'm really glad that we decided to see the big difference in between investing one lump sum into these companies versus investing continuously in the stock market while the prices is up and while the prices is down. We're able to get in at a great buying opportunity, buying the dip. So is the Marriott bad company? Not at all. They pay some great dividends. I might invest into the Marriott when the world opened back up to get some consistent um, dividend growth. But the Hilton, I think if, they, if they're, if they they've been doing pretty good. I know they cut their dividends, but when they come back, they're gonna come back because they're hotel companies. But when, when, when they come back, I think the Hilton might be a great buy to add to our stock portfolio. So I'm stuck in between the two, between the Marriott and the Hilton. You guys let me know down in the comment section, which one uh, should I look into more to add into my stock portfolio, into my dividend portfolio? Which one do you prefer? Uh, go down, whichever one has the most, I'll probably make a market analysis video on that one in the future. And so that you guys don't miss out on that video, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out, peace.